And you breathe in and out. It's like you're cleaning out the inside of the body, the inside of your mind. We pick up all kinds of stuff, and the world we live in encourages all kinds of weird things to come up in our mind. And so it's good to get out into a place like this and have a chance to clean things out, wash them away, so you can look at things clearly. Look at your own mind clearly. That's the important thing. If you understand your own mind, then you're really in charge. The world can't do much to you. The problem is that we're not in charge of our minds. Other people seem to be taking charge of our minds. So we make up the mind to stay right here. That's the beginning of when we're taking charge. Watching the breath coming in, watching it going out, that gives you a good solid place. And then you can look at all the thoughts that come your way, other people's thoughts and your own thoughts. Your own thoughts are the real troublemakers, because all too often when a thought comes up, you just jump right in and go with it. It's like someone driving up in a car and saying, hey, jump in, let's go. You don't know who they are, where they're going, but you just jump right in. If we live that way, we'd die. It might be that they're going to make us pay for the gas, make, make us pedal the car for them, and then dump us off the side of the road someplace. That's what a lot of thoughts do. They have to put a lot of energy into them, and then they make you miserable. So you want to have a spot where you can just watch the thoughts as they come and watch them as they go and decide which ones are worth going with and which ones are not. That way you're in charge. So try to make the breath comfortable because that makes it easier not to jump. Stay right here as the breath's coming in, breath's going out. A thought comes up and you can look at it and you're not hungry because you've got the sense of nourishment that comes from comfortable breathing. This breath energy in the body is full and it's nourishing. It's usually because of hunger that we go jumping into the cars hoping they'll feed us. But now that you're fed, you can be more choosy. That's a sign of a well-trained mind, as the Buddha said. If you think the thoughts you want to thought you want to think, and if it's a thought you don't want to think, you don't think it. You're able to let it go. So try to develop this skill, this position of strength inside where you're in charge, where you're in control. That way you can take more control of your life. You're less a victim of other people's moods and their decisions. You can make your life go in the direction you want.